Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to discuss sine hyperbolic function S in finite product. Okay, firstly, we know that sine of theta, sine theta in terms of uh, finite product is and just theta 1 minus theta square by pi square 1 minus theta square by 2 square pi square and so on now since we need for hyperbolic so put or replace theta equal to by i theta so we get sine i theta is equal to i theta 1 minus i square min i square theta square over pi square 1 minus i square theta square over 2 square pi square and so on now sine i theta is equal to i theta 1 i square is we know just minus 1 that become plus theta square over pi square 1 minus this i square become plus theta square 2 square pi square and so on and we know that sine hyperbolic of theta is equal to minus i sine i theta so i i want this in terms of a hyperbolic so if i do sine theta is equal to sine i theta is equal to if this go here it will be 1 over minus i and if i simplify this 1 over minus i square into i which is only i so which is i sine hyperbolic of theta now putting this value here therefore i sine hyperbolic of theta is equal to i theta 1 plus theta square by pi square 1 plus theta square by 2 square pi square next term let's suggest 1 plus theta square by 3 square pi square and so on now this and this we can answer lastly we get sine hyperbolic of theta is equal to theta 1 plus theta square by pi square 1 plus theta square by 2 square pi square and so on therefore in short we can write as sine hyperbolic of theta is equal to theta product from r equal to 1 to infinity 1 plus theta square by r square pi square